Meet Mr. B. He is a hard-working employee of the Hive Corporation. In the first week of April 2021, this is the timesheet for Mr. B. How many hours did Mr. B work? I don't know about you, but if I were to work seven days straight, this is how I would be. Well, let's get into Excel so I can show you how to calculate the working hours. Here is the start and end time for our Mr. B's timesheet. To calculate the working hours, first add a new column, call it as working hours. Then in this column, just use the formula end time minus start time. That is all you need to do and it will give you the working hours. By default, Excel will show you working hours in number format, but you can change this by formatting the cell. You can do this by right clicking and using the format cell option or my favorite shortcut control one to open the format cells box. From here, go to the time format options and this will show you the number of hours worked by Mr. B. Click OK and it will tell you that the total hours are 9 hours and 30 minutes. Now there will also be an AM PM thing. You can turn that off by choosing the appropriate format. So for example, let's go with that and then just drag this down to see the working hours for each of the days. You could see that on many days Mr. B worked 9 hours but certain days he worked real hard for 10 and a half hours. Let us add a twist to our B story. Apart from start time and end time, sometimes you may also have a break start and break end time as well. And you really want to calculate what is the total actual working hours. So in this case, the calculation becomes a little more complicated, but not very difficult. All you have to do is use the end time minus start time. Here, I'm also using a table format for my data. So these structural references will refer to the appropriate values in the cell. So once this value is calculated, that will tell you in a number format how many hours the B has worked, but we would like to subtract any break value. So from this, edit the formula. We can use brackets so that it is easy to understand the formula. So from the original working hours, we want to subtract any amount of break time. So we'll say break end minus break start and subtract that. Now that the working hours are calculated, we can use that to determine on which days Mr. B has worked overtime. Let's say overtime is defined as anything more than eight hours. So we could use a formula like if working hours greater than eight out of 24 to check for that kind of thing. And this will tell you on which days Mr. B has worked overtime. As you could see, Mr. B has been working real hard. Here is Mr. B hard at work. Isn't he awesome? If you also want to be awesome at work, I suggest checking out my top 10 Excel formulas video. Your spreadsheets are going to be sweeter than honey. I promise. Check it out. Bye-bye.